All right, we're up against Spica. We gotta win this. Spica and Paul Belter on their team. Jesus. Spica, Paul Belter, Ali Dino. A bit of a juicer comp. All right, let's win this game. I suppose I could always go like Lethali Rost if worse comes to worse. It's not a horrible idea. I think Lethali Rost is actually not bad in their team. I get like Eclipse Edge of Night, all that. Profane Eclipse Edge of Night. That actually would not be a bad idea at all. All right. Only against Spica. I believe he's the rank one jungle in NA right now. Normally, Permabans Kane, so it's kind of weird that he's not banning Kane this game. What would happen? Their bard's really good. That guy's very oppressive. Makes, makes jungle very hard. Yeah, I knew they were going to put a ward there. So I actually have an idea for that. Because they put a ward there... I definitely want to go and like give the enemy jung some harassment early on. So I'm going to look for an invade. But I'm just going to completely go that ward. No, I'm just going to go and do this. Yeah, and I assume the enemy jung is just going to start bot side. For like an early bot gank or something. Maybe I can find an early top gank here. If we get top rolling, that'd be good. That's really good to their team, I think. This guy just dominates. We have Whippo as our top liner, right? No. Pretty freaking hyped to me. If I was any other champion, I'd probably be able to level 2 dive, but Kane just too weak for a level 2 dive. I'd absolutely love to do it. Yeah, I guess there's a chance that like I could just carry it. Fuck, if he flashy, I would have just killed her. I guess you want to hold on to it. Maybe you wanted to wait for the shove in to die, but I didn't want to wait here this long. Yeah, because I put this ward right here, it kind of defends me from getting invaded. I wouldn't say defends me, but it just alerts me if I get invaded. Or so than anything. Alright, cool. So now I can get blue. He's going to live in my top side right now. Yeah, just get those two top side camps. That's fine. We're both going to wind up at 28 CS, but the difference is I'm going to be able to take his Raptors on spawn. It'll be pretty sick. But yeah, let me come for this. Wait, what? what am I doing here? Huge. Or I might rotate immediately to the Raptors here to try and like slow me down, but he shouldn't be able to like stop me. Oh wow, he actually started red. That's weird. I thought I was going to be able to get it like a, um, what am I call it? Early invade start. I'm sure I can hold this guy's wave here too. Yeah, that way it kind of like negates the fact of him being like ganked. Which oh, actually did take my raptors. Didn't take my Krugs though. That's interesting. I think he's only now realizing that I'm gonna go for the grub play. The mid's gonna rotate on me immediately, but it's fine. Oh wait, she didn't. I think he put a ward on this Krug. Should be heading towards the grubs himself. So laying his reset so much. Yeah, I should just look to play for bot lane. Just from a play for bot lane. Like I said, I might actually wind up going my red form here for the astro knockup. But I'd be like a Lethali Red Cane, if anything. We'll see. Whatever form I get first, I think is what I'm going to like lead towards playing. 
Let's see. Oh, he's, he's taking the grub, so he's on it right now. Right, if you press tab, you can actually see if they're taking it because it'll show right here. They have the little icon. That's what it will show. Uh, it'll be a little bit ahead of me and CS, but... About equal in map tempo. That's good. Yeah, Volley's getting a lot of work done. Three kills down here is great. He's looking for a mid gank. Yeah, because for some reason he has not finished the other grub. It could be on my camp. Honestly, he could. Look the move here. Oh, he's Bob. That's weird. Wow. Good Yasuo. He's out of there. He's getting scuttle. He's kind of like tied to that bot side for a little bit. Gives me a little bit of time to like maybe yoink this buff again. Actually, I don't know. I don't like this idea anymore. As soon as Riven starts moving like that, I just gotta fuck off. It's really bad for me though. You can see it, like how persistent the enemy team is with like trying to like make it so I can't do anything. Yeah, did you see how long she's missing here? She definitely went to go like rotate to stop me and then after she didn't stop me, she just goes to do the grubs I think, or the, the final grub. There she is, comes back to lane. So in a situation like that, it's always just more worth to just like survive and not die. I'm missing out on a lot of gold and XP and Belveth kind of just gets this big advantage over me, but it's better to not like add to their advantage. You know what I mean? That's close. Let's try though. That's right. That's good. Really good. Normally this support gives me like a really hard time, but actually not too bad this game. Actually not too bad. My support's doing like a good job of like keeping abs on him. I believe she gets her upgrade from that, so she's probably on my red and then she's gonna look for like another big tank here if I had to guess. Cause all she needs to do really is just tank the tower for a Kali and a Kali can do all the rest. Sounds about right. Ah. Make sure this shoves in all the way. Ah, look, he is here. <laughs> How crazy is that? Riven's just there with her ult prepped. an unlucky cir circumstance. I think this is going to be a red game, though. What I was talking about earlier. Sure will be. I don't really try to do this red build that often, but I feel like into their team it's actually good. The percent HP damage ratios will actually help into playing like Akali and Bard, because they're going to get like a lot of HP. Yeah, I should be able to get two bots on camps here. I think they're going to kill this guy, but I mean, that's already going to happen. Yeah, I think they're just gonna dive shoulder and that'll be good. A solid trade. Should get the dragon here as well, but I need to make sure that I'm actually getting gold next XP because look how much I'm down. Let's 
It's not really just because it's the Belveth matchup, even though, I mean, that's honestly like a, a plus, but it's just, this is how like a lot of those players on the enemy team play, is like their support and their top laner, they both love to just play for Jung, you know? Just only play for Jung. Ah, uh, didn't get his ult in. I get for him, almost. That was pretty damn close. All good. Okay, well he's doing the dragon. I'll catch up a little bit gold next P, and maybe I'll like slap Riven a around a couple times, and then get my red for him. Then we could be in business. I do like profane into Eclipse and uh, Edge of Night probably. That's like a good build for red. I suppose I could also get Sundered Sky. That wouldn't be that bad either. Bit of HP. I think Edge of Night just feels so great too, though. Good thing he didn't overstay. That's like a place where a lot of mid laners would die. Nice. I was expecting just a little tickle and run, but I got the whole shebang. Whole shebang bang. It's beautiful. I do have to say my smite choice was kind of unideal for going red cane. I probably would have preferred red smite over smite if I knew I was going to go red. But it was kind of like one of those like last ditch things where I'm like, oh yeah, this seems way better for me. Let's see, they didn't take any grubs yet, so I'll just get a control weight on it. I'm pretty sure if they're going to be on it soon. Oh, should get the vision. Okay, this is actually a huge ult. <laughs> I should go get the grubs immediately. I'm gonna go get the grubs. I'll shove mid and get grubs. Perfect. Got my form. For the game. Driven might hassle me though. Yeah, she's a hassler. That's what we'll call her. She's a hassler. And I know there's definitely players that their main playstyle doesn't matter the role, sub top, mid, whatever. Their main playstyle is just to make the enemy jung have no fun and make their jung have a lot of fun. They're just enablers, pretty much. I got another grub. Maybe get those rift. I thought I'd be able to get more. I didn't realize it despawned at 1355. Could have got like two there. Oh, but if I get this rift, that's huge. Then I deny the uh, void objective from Velva. And she doesn't get one until, what, 20 minutes? Oh, even Akali knows how good of a play this is right now. By the way, if this was Karismai, we would unironically win this game. Everyone on their team knows besides Velva. Yeah, thanks for sub. Did so much. Yeah, this is huge. I mean, that's fine. Did I run straight for the Aswo here? I think I do. If he could somehow live, like, you know, even just like a little bit. It's just dead. Sad. Try to flash the bard to somebody just follows along. Yeah, bard's kind of a ridiculous champ. I think Seth's gonna get that mid CS, so I'm just gonna like farm some more.
Uh, dragon's a minute, so I should just clear all my top side right now. Get ready for the dragon. That could send the rift in. Neat thing about having blue smite when you're playing red cane is that you do move pretty fast around the map, and he's pretty like low mobility. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. You see, now this play I can definitely come for. Oh my god, dude. See, that's what I mean when I say, like, look at this part, bro. I'm such a hassler. I'm a hassling my laners. Oh yeah, Bard ulted earlier. The question is, is this ult CD still down? I'd imagine so. What we really need to need to do is just get a big W on either Akali or Belveth. Fortunately for me, I don't have to worry about like getting my Yasuo fed because he's already ahead. I just got lucky that the guy's playing pretty good here. Killing this part is mission impossible, so the fact that we just did it is pretty sweet. Yeah, see, that's kind of why you want to go red team with Yasuo. This is a very, like, niche situation where, like, okay, if you find yourself where there's a lot of enemies that are squishy, but they're squishy and they're going to be stacking, like, HP, like a Bard, a Kali, etc., etc., then... I think it's a good situation to go like Lethali Red Cane, but most of the time it's actually not good to do Lethali Red Cane. We could totally just rift mid right now, I think. And I rifted into the wall like an idiot. Jesus, I am, I am fumbling the bag. I hit her. Right here. Ah, tough. Ah, uh, barely almost tipped him. Almost tipped him. Hit him with the tip. Do I have any, like, speedy boys? Help me out here. Speedies. I had plenty of speedy boys. I had no speedy boys. What was that about? This game hates cane mains. Look, they're all in my jungle. Hello, speedy boys. Honestly, no. Blue Spider actually is pretty clutch here. I'm not going to lie to you. Moving around the map as fast as I need to is pretty good. Yeah, it's just so hard because, like, Belveth is already a high mobility champion, and then she has Bard speeding him up. Um, you know, with heals and portals. It's like, dude, what? It's like, what am I supposed to do about that, you know? Oh my god, he's actually going for the solo kill? What the fuck, he actually solo killed. Jesus, I'm never underestimating Whippo ever again. Nice. We should do this. By the way, if this was Karismai, we would unironically win this game. Yeah, I'm with Yasuo. I think Yasuo is just deciding that, hey, if they're going to do something like that, we just do it, regardless. Yo, Monty, thanks for the resub. 10 XP, thanks for the resub as well. My boys, appreciate you guys. All right, guys, I'm not reading chat that much while I'm in game, just because, well, I'm playing on my main. I'm trying to get pretty high LP, so. Wow, good job. Dude, this Azir is popping off today. Did you know what sucks is that <laughs> this is such a niche setup, but I guarantee you people are gonna think Red Kane's OP because I'm beating the rank one jungler with Red Kane. Nah, people are gonna actually think this is good. 
Like, it can be, but it's so niche. Like, I hope you guys realize, like, Holder's gonna stack HP with getting, like, the Andres and Shojin. Um, Akali usually gets some HP items. Then Bard's gonna get, like, tanky. And then Riven's gonna be, like, not not necessarily one-shottable. Same with, like, Belvad. Like, none of them are, like, really one-shottable, but they are all squishy, you know what I mean? That makes sense. It's kind of a hard, like, thing to explain fully, I would say. Oh my god, set. Set. Just punishing them. As hard as he can. Ah, oh, so close. Jesus. Look at this bard, brother. Just smolder. Get Zero gets some towers here. I think this guy's dead. A good item after I get a Janite here with BGA. If the game goes on that long. So sad that I couldn't actually kill her there. Okay, maybe Yasuo pops off though. Kali seems unbalanced. Well, let me tell you a secret about high elo. If a champ is doing well in a challenger game, it's not balanced. No. Oh wow, he killed Riven pretty much for free there. Let me go support this guy, yeah. He could use a little bit of a support. <laughs> nice. Now once I hit her with that W, she should just die like that. See, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. We just stack CC on her, she can't do anything. If I'm ever, ever hit, hitting my W on her, she should just die every time. Yeah, Smolder's really weak. He should not be able to defend us. Ah. 
Alright. You know what's funny is I think this guy's 0-10, but I think that's the first time I've killed him this game. Oh no, 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 I killed him earlier on the tower dive, that's right. Alright, this should be game over. But you speak as piss, he always bans Kane. This is like the one game he hasn't banned Kane. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder which OP I get for this game. What do we think, boys? Plus 22? Wow. Speaker reported in Smolder for everything, even an inappropriate name. Yeah, like I said, I, I bet he was pretty upset because he does not like playing against Kane. I guarantee you, he's going to ban Kane for like the rest of the night. <laughs>